Hey fishers, still getting lots of reports flowing in. Hopefully this big rain event coming through is not going to affect us too much. Got our fingers crossed, have a feeling it might, but anyway, uh, the reports flowing in at the moment are pretty special. Um, Dartmouth Dam, very good, lots of fish. We spoke about that last week, uh, looking real good. Hume Weir, still fantastic. A uh, few cod, few yellows, few redfin, few trout, bit of everything out of the Hume Weir at the moment. Uh, it's quite a pleasant place to be. Nice easy runs, nearly 100% full. And uh, regardless of the rain, it'll still fish all right. Most of the dams will, or all the dams probably will actually. Uh, the river below the Hume Weir, getting good trout right up at the base of the dam wall again, and the yellow belly further down, and right down as far as Mawala. Once you hit the lake itself, pretty ordinary. Not a great deal of activity is at all out of Mawala, but the river itself, the Murray that is, very, very good, happy with that. Yellows, of course it's closed season for cod, so if you do catch a cod, you've got to put it back, so don't target them, smaller lures, and that's what you'd be using for yellows anyway. Murrumbidgee River here, look, uh, it's been good, there's no two ways about it, but over the next few days, and week or two, uh, I don't think it'll be worth worrying about. I reckon it'll be just about the flood situation, but we'll see, see how it goes. Got our fingers crossed, hope it doesn't happen. Lake Albert, amazing, pretty darn hard to beat. Uh, it's gonna be good whether it's high or low, it doesn't matter, it just fishes well right through the summer months. So go out there and have a bit of fun, put the boat on, do a bit of trolling, fish off the beam with bait. Really doesn't matter, whatever you prefer to do, you will catch fish. Tumut River's been great, fished on Tuesday, got a lot of fish out of it, it was uh, good. I was only drifting worms actually, just thought I'd try something different. And a few little uh, plastic bait eggs, they seem to do the job quite nicely there. Uh, just a casual day, spent about three hours there, end up with 11 trout, seven good sized fish and the rest are undersized. Uh, but uh, I kept a couple for, for, the, for a feed and that's about all, but it was good. Enjoyable little day, great place to be. But again, in the next day or so, I don't know when, could be even now, uh, they'll let a lot of water out to make a bit of airspace in Blowering, so keep that one in mind. Blowering Dam, fishing quite well, some good redfin coming out of it, plenty of them actually. Uh, some nice cod, nice yellows. Uh, get up there, have a bit of fun, whether it's 100% or 10% you know, Blowering uh, fish as well. And it is good, easy to get your boats in, no drama. Uh, plenty of camping around the bank. Tell Bingo, good uh, redfin trout in good numbers, uh, happy with that. As you can see, we've got a lot of fishing around us at the moment, and even if you get heavy rains, well, it's rain, it's not gonna be good, but uh, <coughs> the, the heavy rains uh, or flood situations aren't gonna affect these dams. You can be into Tengra Jindabyne, pretty special. Plenty of fish coming out of them, lots of good trout, so we're really happy. Got some good reports from Wyangla Dam at the moment. Uh, it's cracking, uh, plenty of yellow belly coming out of Wyangla. Uh, cast and lures, trolling, bait fishing off the bank, don't matter. As soon as the cod season opens, it's only about three weeks, I think, before it opens. It's looking absolutely amazing this year, so just get excited about that, I can tell you now, it's really gonna happen. Barrandong Dam, getting some good reports from there. Plenty of yellows, uh, plenty of reddies, uh, so it's, re it's really cracking at the moment, it's pretty hard to beat. And I've got some good reports from uh, Windermere, but uh, you've got to work pretty hard. Something a bit different there at the moment. Suspending lures seem to be the way to go there, just above the weed beds and that. And the old uh, small hammerhead, it's really kicking butt up there. Suspending version of the small hammerhead, absolutely fantastic. Specifically designed for that type of fishing. Uh, give it a couple of winds, pause it, and it'll sit right where you leave it, give it a tweak. Works really well at blowering and burrowing duck as well. When the fish are shy and hard to catch, Absolutely perfect, and it also does the job at Mawala and in the river here. So keep that one in mind, one of my favourites for that type of fishing, especially when the yellow belly are on the shy side. As you can see, plenty of activity around us. Get out there, get fishing. This is the Complete English Fish Report for this week. We'll catch you next week.